Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Okay, you guys are here. My name is Eli. Today, we are officially four weeks out, four weeks in a day, I guess, like, if you want to be specific, because a day from tomorrow is going to be the show day. So that'll be November 4th, and today is currently October 6th, almost said November 6th, but that wouldn't have made any sense. But we're gonna go hit some arm stay, biceps, and triceps. Put in some pre-workout for today. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've just been a fiend for the caffeine. I, it's like one of those things where when you start, it's hard to stop, you know what I mean? But also, I do have to mention this just because I mentioned the pre-workout, but Transparent Labs, like I mentioned in another video, they have a new formula for their pre-workout out now. And not only does it taste better, but it also has Alpha GPC in it, which is a focus enhancement. Some of you guys know I take that later in the day when I'm about to do my work. But the more exciting news is that the older ones, the older bulk pre-workouts are all 20% off right now. I'm not sure if code Levi stacked on top of that is an extra 10% off, but if you guys just want to check it out, get pre-workout for a cheaper price, the link will be down in the description for that. Yeah, that's all I got for this morning. Uh, now, uh, what, what else do I got for the menu? I think that's it. Now we're going to go hit arms. Today's particular video, I wanted to talk to you guys about things that I wish I would have known before ever really starting my fitness journey seriously. Some of you guys know, I was introduced to the gym at a very young age, but I didn't really start getting serious about it until I was like 18. Um, I don't know why that age. I think it was just because I was graduating, sports were ending, and I was I kind of knew that I didn't have much more of a track career going forward. So I was like, all right. I need something, something that's gonna keep me in the loop of staying active and stuff, so I really clung to fitness. And so one of the first things that I wish I would've known was that you're always gonna be learning. And the reason that is the first thing I'm gonna talk about, not necessarily the first thing, but the reason that's even a part of this is because during your lifting journey or during your fitness journey, I should say, whether you be even like running or whatever it is, you're always gonna encounter a time where you feel like there's no results or there's no outcome that you're anticipating. And the reason being is probably because it's something that you haven't learned yet and there's something different that you haven't even tried. For me, that happened countless times, even you know, to this day that it happens. And so this whole journey that you're taking is like a never ending process, like you're always learning. And you have to approach it that way because there's no one specific way of lifting, there's no one specific way of running, there's no one specific way of crossfit training. There's no one specific way. So you're always learning, always doing something different, always trying different things. And so that's something that has helped me in my journey is when I get to plateaus, I'm like, okay, let me try to pick up something that I haven't learned yet or something different that I could do. And that has always helped me to su supersede those times where I'm plateauing and whatnot, just because it's an inevitable of part of this journey. Also, we already started off with for this arm workout, we did some pause curls, so like that. That four sets, 10 to 12. Now we got some cables, the easy bar, the high reps. You follow me anywhere I try to be alone. I find you there. There's more to me everywhere I try to go alone. I find you there. You follow me anywhere. Good tricep workout today. It's nice, I had a refeed like a few days ago, so it's nice to have like a pump again, and a little more energy. 
like makes a whole world of a difference. One thing I was gonna mention to you guys about something else I would have known in my fitness journey early on is recovery. When you're young, you're not feeling those bits of tension building up. And then over the course of years, they just build up until it's a big old injury. And that happened to me. I've just suffered ins and outs of hips and back injury, more so hip injury than back. But the hip injuries, I would say, caused the back injuries. But all of that could have been prevented with proper recovery, stretching, rolling out, maybe even going for massage, something along those lines. Like, I li literally wish I could go back and tell my younger self to do that. I think that's, if not my personal favorite thing that I wish, or not favorite, but my most important thing that I wish I would have told my younger self. And you know, you can't go back, but at least I can tell you guys, you know, if you're getting into fitness, focus on recovery. Make it just as much a priority as lifting and running. Not saying, you know, you need to do it for an hour and 30 every single day, maybe just every day for 15 minutes, just like a little stretching video, rolling out video you see on YouTube or something. Something that allows your body to take that time to recover. Um, this also includes like rest days and stuff. Boo! Uh, make sure, you know, you're not working out more than like five times a week. I think six is a little overkill, unless like, you know, your six day is like a run, active kind of like recovery day, whatever it might be. Just make sure you're doing that. Don't think that you're indestructible because you're not, you know, people like to say, oh, when I was younger, you know, I was indestructible. It's like, no, you were never indestructible. It was just, you didn't feel all that tension building up in your body until you got older, until it became an injury. Like you were never indestructible. Your body was just like bearing the weight for the time being until you got to an age where it couldn't take it anymore. It's pretty good on workout. The only thing that sucked. I gotta turn this brightness down. Meanwhile. Back to where we're at. The only thing that sucked is, I hate when this happens. You have to use the bathroom like when you're already into your workout. Like, I'm talking not, you know, I'm not talking about going and taking a quick piss. I'm talking about you know what. And that sucks, cause it's like your pump just starts to get going. Everything's going pretty well. Like I was about to hit my fourth set of my first workout. I'm like, that's when, that's when like I take my hoodie off, things really get going and it sucked. But there's bigger problems with that than that out in the world. Um, yeah, I'm really tired. Um, this is just from being lean. It's just, it's not like a sleepy tired. It's more like, like uh, my body is tired and you know, part of the process. I've been saying that to y'all, you know? If you want something bad enough, it doesn't matter how tired you are or how you're feeling, you'll go do it. Like if you want something bad enough, you'll go do it. Like you could literally be on the brink of death and be the most tired you've ever been in your life and you will fight for survival. You know what I mean? And it just goes to show that like, you know, being tired or feeling a certain way can't stop you from going and doing something. So it's my little motivational spiel for the day. Right now we are headed to school. I don't have school today, today's Friday. Every Friday I have off, thank the Lord for that because that gives me time to actually get the homework done for those classes and whatnot. Um, Alice in Chains, that's what I listen to when I work out. We're just heading to school, gonna wrap up some homework and stuff, also get this post-workout meal in. So before we get in there and heat up this meal, I'm gonna show you guys what we're having for today's meal. We're having four ounces of bison, 90-10, and then we're having a cup of rice. So delicious, right? It's actually a really boring meal, but it's actually not that bad. But this does bring me to the next things that I wish I would have known before I started lifting. It actually brings me to two things. And the first thing is really just understanding calories as a whole, but more specifically is understanding what my bulking calories were, my cutting calories, and my maintenance calories. Not knowing exactly, but having a rough estimate. The reason being is because there was this time when I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna decide to cut. And this actually happened twice. And I was like, I'll just eat less, right? So I made like a meal plan for myself. I was like, yeah, this, sh this shouldn't be too many calories. And on the second time around that I started cutting, I was like, man, man this sucks. Like every time I've cut, this has been just the most unenjoyable thing. This has just been god awful. This has honestly been the worst thing I've ever done. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna see how many calories I'm actually eating. And I totaled it out and it was like 1400 calories, right? <laughs> And then I went and looked at like what I should be eating for cutting and then my mind was blown, right? Like I wasn't seeing the results I want. I was just getting like really skinny. Like I was just losing a ton of muscle. I actually weighed like 145 pounds. But prior to that, like I was weighing around like 160 pretty consistently. So yeah, I lost a lot of weight from doing that. 
and a lot of it was muscle and it was simply because I didn't understand you know my bulking calories my maintenance calories and my cutting calories or again have like a rough estimate of where I needed to be at and it really screwed me over but once I figured that out like fitness really became that much more enjoyable and that's honestly when I started doing YouTube and everything because I had like a good grasp on fitness at that point and I felt like I had really encompassed everything that I was trying to do. And the second thing is is that this is just who I am. You know, this might be more personal, you might not relate, but I feel like there's a good enough people that relate. And the thing is, is you can enjoy yourself here and there. You know, I think a lot of the times when people go on a cut or they go on like a bulk, they think that, oh, like I can't enjoy myself. Maybe a bulk, they more so think that. But especially on a cut, like you can, it just has to be minimal. Like you can't just do it like whenever you feel like it. You know what I mean? You really have to like schedule it out. It can't just be based on feeling. So for example, if I'm cutting and whatnot, right? We have like a family gathering. That's pretty much usually when I decide, you know, I'm gonna treat myself even though I'm on a cut and I'm not specifically like cutting for anything. Then I'll go, you know, I'll have some of this, right? So you can enjoy yourself. It's just more so about finding balance. And I don't think, this is my personal opinion, I don't think having like a big cheat day every week is balance. I think it's more so just like, maybe every two weeks, you know, maybe like once a month. I think that it needs to be understandable and you need to work for it as well. So don't think that you can't not, you know, enjoy yourself. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go in, have this meal prep, um, finish up some work. I'll see you guys after. seasoning that I've been using lately for my stuff it tastes good like when you try it with your finger and all but I'm gonna be honest you have to use a lot of it to even taste anything we got some burgers on the grill we got bison and we got ground beef 85 15 ground beef 90 10 bison yeah like I said that seasoning is it's good like when you try it with your you know you dip your finger in it a little wet and then you try it good that way but then like you put it on your burger and stuff it actually takes a lot to like even get a good flavor out of it so this is gonna go like quick kind of expected more out of Lowry seasoning to be honest it's chili lime I thought man that's an amazing I don't know if you guys like chili lime stuff I love it and whatnot and it's great now I want to give you guys the next thing on something that I wish I knew for fitness and all that and I think this really is gonna relate to a lot of kids when they're trying, or younger people I should say, when they're trying to get into their fitness journey and really explore fitness is that they think having like shredded six pack abs is like the coolest thing ever. And let me just say, it's not sustainable. Like being shredded all the time is not sustainable and it's not really that enjoyable. Like, you know, I'm getting lean for a bodybuilding show right now and doing this all the time is not sustainable because, you know, life happens. We have like family events, we have things that go on and whatnot and just having to barbecue like a day like today you know, when something else could be going on is not always the best thing to be doing. And I've tried it before, like when I was really getting into this, I would skip family events to like meal prep and stuff. And it was just, it was so, it actually became stressful and then became, made fitness unenjoyable. So something I honestly wish I would have learned is like being sub 10% body fat or being shredded year round is just not realistic. Being fairly lean year round is, you know, realistic, but not, bone shredded and honestly what's cooler than just like being ripped and looking insane and super vascular is looking fairly lean but also being very athletic and still strong like that to me is way cooler than just being absolutely shredded and looking big like having a little bit of athleticism and some strength to you is cooler in my opinion than just being bone shredded oh he just missed it it was 77, oh there it is, 77.25. That is our current weight today. We are officially four weeks out as well. So things are getting serious. Things are getting awesome. We're also gonna do a quick little physique update. All right, four weeks out, this is what we're looking like. So we're looking pretty lean, right? And yeah, we're looking lean. Okay. It is taken since the beginning of August to actually get to where we are now. So a whole two months, and we're not even at the goal yet. 
And this is gonna put a lot into perspective for you and this is also gonna be the final thing that I wish I knew before fitness and is that things take time. A lot of the times people think that their fitness goal is gonna be achieved in like one to two months without any real understanding of how long this stuff really takes. Like they need to look at people, for example, like me who are already fit and trying to get even leaner or trying to achieve a goal and you know, I'm someone who's not even overweight, but the fact that it's taking me three months to even like begin to like look leaner and look better should be an indication for a lot of you guys out there that getting lean or getting bigger or putting on a lot more muscle or bulking up is gonna take a long time. A lot of people have unrealistic expectations of how their fitness journey is supposed to go, but aren't willing to do the research of how long it has taken people who have done this for years on end. Because I can guarantee if you did that, they would actually stay with fitness more and be a lot more, I would say, understanding of their given circumstance and like what's going on. A lot of the times when I coach people too, I run into this issue. People sign up for one month and they think that, oh, like I'm not seeing results as quick as I want. It's like, dude, you're not gonna see your your goal in one month. Like that's just the reality. Even for me, when I set goals for myself, it takes me longer than one month, especially if it's something to do with my physique. It takes a long time. So if you guys are trying to change your body, know that's gonna take longer than a month. It may take longer than two months. It might take longer than a year. It might take longer than two years. It just depends on what your goal is and you have to understand that things are just not overnight, you know? And I, that's something I wish I would've known because there was a time where I was trying to get lean. I would always rush the process and I just ended up suffering in the midst of it because I couldn't just stick to the like process. And I still struggle with this, not in fitness areas of my life anymore, but more so just like business and a lot more other things. That's it, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. And as always, that trying to do what you love. The sky's the limit. I'll see you all in the next one.